Bedtime Stories for Giants. Listening to a bedtime story is the best way to end your day. Now that your day is done and you are lying in your comfortable bed with your favorite blanket and favorite pillow and maybe even your favorite stuffed animal, let's snuggle down for a story. This giant bedtime story I'm about to tell you will help you transition from your busy day of learning and growing to a nice, peaceful night's rest. During this story, I will guide you into a relaxed state where you will feel safe to close your eyes and drift off. If at any point during my story your eyelids are too heavy, you can close them. If you just can't stay awake any longer, it's okay to let yourself drift off. This is a time to relax and have some quiet time. I hope you enjoy my story. If you like these stories and you want to follow the giants along on their adventures, please hit the subscribe button. Bath time. Today was the day the giants were going to take a bath. They were pretty stinky because giants don't bathe very often and tonight was finally the night they would get clean. But our giant family didn't have a bathtub in their home because there just wasn't enough space in the mountain to carve out a bathtub to fit the whole family. When mom and dad giant were looking for the perfect spot to build a giant home, they chose that particular mountain spot for one very cool reason. Their mountain had a hot spring on it. It was the perfect size to fit the whole giant family in. All right, my stinky kids, it is time to wash behind your ears and between your toes, Dad Giant announced one night. Oh, do we have to? Bo asked. Yeah, Dad, do we have to? I'd rather stay here practicing my cartwheels, Luna said. No, you don't have to. Uh, I guess I'll just have to use all this bubble bath for myself, Dad teased. Wait, there's bubbles? Bo was suddenly very interested in taking a bath. Is there bubbles? Of course there is. And these bubbles are not your normal everyday bubbles. These bubbles are rainbow bubbles, Dad replied. Rainbow bubbles, I'm going! Apple Peach Banana jumped up and grabbed her towel. Woohoo, bath night, Ernie said, also grabbing his towel. With two bottles of fish friendly rainbow bubble bath, because fish also cry when they get soap in their eyes six towels, and six bathrobes, the giants headed across the mountain to the hot spring. Ooh, the water is so warm, Apple Peach Banana said as she slid into the warm pool of water. It sure is, Dad agreed. Once all the giants were in the pool, Bo asked, how does the water stay so warm all the time? Well, there's an underground water reservoir, and when that water touches hot rocks from the molten lava, it heats up and rises up and out of a hot spring into this pool, keeping this hot spring warm all year. That's so cool, Dad. And Bo remembered. Can we make this bath better and put bubbles in it now? Sure. I'll give you a quarter-sized drop in your hand, and you can add it to the pool. Mom said, pouring some bubble bath soap in each of the kids' hands. Soon the whole hot spring was bubbly. Don't forget to lather your hair and scrub your knees, Mom reminded everyone. When they were done lathering up, Bo asked, Can we make it bubblier? Okay, just a bit more bubbles, Mom said. Bo, will you give everyone more bubbles? And remember, just a drop is a lot. Yeah, I know, Mom. Oops. The top of the bubble bath bottle wasn't screwed on all the way, and when Bo squeezed it into Ernie's hands, the whole bottle emptied into the hot spring. All at once, rainbow bubbles started rising up everywhere. The hot spring just kept getting foamier and foamier and foamier until... The rainbow bubbles went up over the edge of the pool, down the mountain, and into the mountain lake. Oh no, Bo, you're in trouble, Luna said. Oh, don't worry. You're not in trouble. I know it was an accident. On the bright side, we'll be extra clean, Mom said. The giant kids then spent the next hour making rainbow bubble beards. 
rainbow bubble hats and rainbow bubble gloves they blew on, watching the bubbles float up into the air and away into the sky. Then Luna had an idea. Let's ride the rainbow bubbles down the mountain and into the lake. Yeah, me first, Bo said as he threw himself over the hot springs wall and onto the slippery rainbow bubble path sliding all the way down the mountain on his belly, landing right into the freezing cold lake. Luna first made a giant rainbow bubble hat on her head before sliding down the slippery bubble path. Bubbles flying off her head left and right as she sped down landing in the lake. Apple followed close behind Luna, and when she reached this lake, she shivered, Brr, I'm going back to the hot spring. Back in the hot spring, Ernie admitted, I'm scared of Norman the lake squid. I'm going to stay in here with you, Mom and Dad. When the giants got back into the warm hot spring water, they helped to empty the rest of the bubbles out of the pool. I think we're clean for tonight. Let's head home, Dad Giant said, putting an end to the fun. The giants dried off and got into their soft bathrobes. On the walk home, Dad shared some neat facts about hot springs. The hot spring water has sulfur in it and can help cure infections and make sore muscles not so sore anymore. Hot springs also make us sleepy naturally because of how warm they are. Oh, I can definitely feel the sleepy part, Luna yawned. Hey, don't yawn. Oh, you will make me yawn too, Mom said while she yawned. Oh, you're making me yawn again, Mom, Luna said yawning again. When they got back to their home, they hung up their towels to dry, put on their comfy pajamas, ate some hard-boiled eggs for a snack, and brushed their teeth. Dad, instead of doing book time, will you tell us some jokes, please? Apple begged. Sure, Dad agreed. He could never say no to good jokes. He turned off the bedroom lights and began. Why did the teddy bear skip dessert after she finished dinner? Dad asked. Hmm, I don't know. Why? asked Luna. Because she was stuffed. That's a good one, Dad. Tell us another, Bo encouraged. All right, one more. What's an alligator in a vest called? Dad asked. I don't know, Apple said. In, in, Vest a gator, Dad answered. That was quite the exciting bath night tonight. We will definitely be bringing Rainbow Bubble Bath with us next time, Dad Giant decided. Yeah, let's do it again tomorrow, Bo said. Oh, we'll see, Dad chuckled to himself, remembering how Bo was the one who didn't want to take a bath in the first place. The giants, all warm and snuggly in their beds, soon fell asleep and dreamed of flying away in a rainbow bubble up into the clouds. The end. Good night, giants. That you've been laying in your bed, I'm sure you've noticed that your toes are 
beginning to feel heavy and fall asleep. Your feet are beginning to feel heavy and fall asleep. Your shins are getting heavy. heavy and are falling asleep. Your thighs are getting heavy and falling asleep. Your hips are feeling heavy and falling asleep. Your tummy is getting heavy as if someone has poured sand right into your belly button and falling asleep. Your chest is getting heavy as your breathing is slowing down into a deeper breath. Breathe in. Are beginning to feel heavy and fall asleep. Your wrists are beginning to feel heavy and fall asleep. Your arms are feeling heavy and falling asleep. Your neck is getting heavy. Sinking into your 